Hello everyone, welcome to the Assorted Bag. So today's topic is really brief, just quite simple to understand why you should be freelancing or what are the advantages of freelancing. So let's begin. I did a full-time job, shifted to freelance, again moved to a full-time job. So it was, you know, a really a mixture of all. So what did I gather or what did I understand through these kind of 10 years of full-time and remote and uh, freelance work? Well, full-time is something where you would obviously love if you want that workplace environment where you get, uh, you know, paid for your work at the end of the month. That's perfectly fine for all full-time people. But if you want to freelance, so why would you want to freelance is the question. I chose to freelance more because of my personal reasons. But then eventually as I moved into the freelance sector and tried to get good clients, good companies, I started enjoying it. And I realized that there can be plenty of pros to it. Okay, there are cons as in if you do not have work for a certain time period, you might not you know, earn unlike a full time job where you do get paid at the end of the month. So a freelance job might not help you if you do not have good clients. So the first tip for any freelancer is having an association with a good established company. So if you have good clients, good companies or multiple club companies to be precise, then you can definitely freelance. Freelance gives you the freedom to work with multiple clients of your choice. So say your interest lies in two, three areas. You can always freelance for two, three different companies belonging to each of these sectors of your interest. So unlike in a full time job where mostly the criteria is um, that you need to just work for them with freelancing, that is not the case. So if you want to freelance your first step should be to gather clients so if you have a whole lot of trustworthy clients genuine clients who will surely pay you for the amount of work that you do for them then freelancers can definitely be a good option with freelancing you can you know decide your schedule you can plan your work around you can plan your play around your work so depending on your availability you can gather work so if you're not available for a certain time period you can definitely not take work for that time period moreover if you once you're back from a holiday and you're refreshed and you want to work that extra bit you can always get more assignments so with freelancing you're always at command of yourself so you know what you want to do and you can just do it the whole idea is to have companies platforms clients so why don't you all register with all these freelancing platforms where you get uh, genuine clients you know have a tie up with them get a steady inflow of assignments and you should be good to go as a freelancer liked some of these tips that i shared through today's video why don't you all hit the thumbs up uh, you can leave any particular question that you might have in the comment section and i shall definitely address them and i shall see you soon with our next video till then thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon i shall see you all soon thank you for watching take care and bye bye